Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you finding the oblique asymptote without long division. By long division, you divide the numerator by denominator and you find the oblique asymptote. Oblique asymptote is in the form of kx plus b. minus plus 2 and this part is your oblique asymptote by long division but there's another way to find the oblique asymptote without long division this method first method is long division and the second method i'm going to show you takes a little bit more time but finding it is so easy so there's formulas for finding k and b and after that we simply find the uh, formula of oblique asymptote limit of function f of x over x when x tends to infinity is equal to k and limit of function f of x minus kx when x tends to plus minus infinity is equal to b. So in this case, let's find firstly k, then find b. Limit of x tends to plus minus infinity. In our test, f of x is equal to 3x squared minus x plus 1 over x minus 1 times x. And it's equal to 3x squared minus x plus 1, x squared minus x. It, if you divide both numerator and denominator by the highest power, x squared, we're going to get... Let's simplify it. Three minus one over x plus one over x squared, one minus one over x. And limit of function one over x when x tends to infinity is equal to zero. Therefore we get limit three over one, three, and limit when x tends to infinity, 3 is equal to just 3, and that's the value of k. And the second, we find the value of b. In order to find it, we find the limit of function of x minus kx when x tends to infinity. Limit x tends to infinity. In our task, f of x is this. minus k, k times x, k is 3, let's solve it, Plus minus three x squared will be cancelled out. Two x plus one over x minus one, and if we divide the both numerator and denominator by the highest power, we're going to get one over infinity is zero. Therefore, 2 over 1 is 2. And we found the value of b. As you see, we found the value of k and we found the value of b. 
Therefore, oblique asymptote is equal to 3x plus 2. So you see that it is the same as we found by long division and the body this method. It, of course, it is easy to find it with long division and it needs less time than finding all this. Well, thanks for watching this video till the end. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos and leave a comment to support me. Thank you for watching.